Leave a like on this video, subscribe and follow because finally, sweet, sweet justice has been served. Let's get into the story. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Courting. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I've been traveling since 5 a.m. to get here back in studio to bring you today's news as well as, don't forget, tonight, 5.30 Eastern on both Rumble and the YouTube uh, Quartercast channel. Really, really love to see you tonight. Got a big show planned. I think Sticks X and Hammer will be here. I have to double check with him. He's kind of squirrely. But that said, this might be the most evident, the, the most diabolical woman in history. A woman cataloged, essentially, making the most heinous claims you can about a man, okay, for the most part, right? Um, other than maybe a kid-related thing. Uh, this man was a star major league pitcher with uh, many, many millions of dollars on the line. Because of these false accusations, he was ejected from Major League Baseball and remains unsigned right now today. Ultimately, he, this, these fake false claims cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. This guy's not a scrub, some you know random relief pitcher. He's a starting pitcher, giving up, uh, gave up massive, massive salaries, and now nobody will touch him with a 10-foot pole because of these claims, even though he proved beyond a reasonable doubt that they were false. Here's a short clip of him summarizing things. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world. In an this woman lied, in the, lied to say that, oh, he did terrible things to me and tried to get money off of him. to take my money. Well, today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimono, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. Oops. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning Whoop. explaining why she came on to me. And from I guess you smelled... Whoa, <clears throat> okay. So again, to summarize, these are two women that in a in separate, coordinated, planned efforts tried to say, you know, they hooked up with him and then after the fact tried to extort him for money by saying that it was non-consensual. For months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm <laughs> oh, no, no. so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's this guy must be one heck of a lay. That's all I can. That's all I can say. It's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, and only after Lindsay Hill made up her false allegations, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded three point six million dollars and claimed I forced her to have an abortion. <laughs> leaving what? her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion oh. because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Oopsies. I mean, <laughs> fellas in the, in the sporting world, okay, NBA players are notorious for this. There are women who will prey on you. You're worth a lot of money. They know that. All they have to do is come on to you. Uh, there's plenty of stories about women saying, oh, no, we don't need a rubber. Don't worry about that. Because they're just trying to get that 18-year payout. They don't care about the kid, which is the sickest part of it. But then on top of that, they make false claims that this guy you know, put hands on them. Or these two women ruined his career. Ruined it. Now, I don't remember exactly what uh let me see what he if i say trevor bauer contract okay he had a three-year 100 million dollar contract 34 million dollars a year two women this guy was a cy young award winner winner so if you're not a sports nerd that is the highest honor for a pitcher that you can get one woman set everything up and like an idiot recorded it all and documented it all. 
course, he destroyed her in court. And now this other woman came forward and said, oh, well, uh, yeah, um, I'm pregnant and this, that, and the other thing, as if he wouldn't have the receipts. Also, simply for the money. Now, Trevor Bauer's got to learn, learn to be a little smarter with his dong, okay? He's got to be a little smarter about this. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed yeah. a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was, was non-consensual. So, so once she tried to get money, you know, off him, and then it's like she didn't think that he had the text messages. She also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to to confirm without proof of the event or even the date of it we cannot continue to represent you we urge you to consult with other attorneys who may have different standards <laughs> so this chick fabricated the whole story okay even law firms were like nah player You've got no evidence here. Supporter claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. This is great. I appreciate your time and input today. I'm glad we can agree that 750,000 to 3.6 million as a settlement bracket. As explained on the phone, we will start high and understand the lowest you will accept to settle is $750,000. Have a beautiful day. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence. And so he shares more evidence. I mean, she's getting absolutely obliterated in court. Hi, Adana. As your legal counsel, we have all agreed that the recording is detrimental to your case to the point we will very likely not be able to continue to even represent you on this matter. We are requesting a copy of the recording to verify authenticity. I know this is difficult news. But without the medical records of your lie about having to uh, of losing the baby and a recording like this, this is what we feel is insurmountable. Hugs, Amy. Hugs. And they inform Madonna that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't Which do she that. Couldn't so do. the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards worse standards now donna has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault <laughs> and harassment against <clears throat> other men including at least one other professional athlete but after the scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me she's the one being indicted for felony fraud and not just against me against another man as well awesome now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too and it gets worse in my lawsuit against her we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case and when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him, too. <laughs> uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police. She goes to the police and makes a claim. So this is maybe like the absolute worst kind of human imaginable, right? Well, bum, 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 bum. Trevor Bauer accused of charged with allegedly defrauding exiled MLB pitcher after faking pregnancy, now facing 16 years in prison. By the way, every one of those years d d deserved. One of the women who accused Trevor Bauer uh, was indicted this week for allegedly defrauding the one former one-time Cy Young Award winner, according to legal papers, Darcy Adana Esmo Esmanu, who sued Bauer and allegedly demanded $1.6 million after claiming she had his baby, was charged with one count of fraudulent schemes and artifices on Monday. Bauer and another man were listed as the alleged victims in the case this week, and the grand jury handed down the indictment according to paperwork providing by the Mar provided by the Maricopa County District Attorney Office. She was also charged with theft by extortion, only, but only against another victim, I assume someone that gave her money. Bauer, in a five-minute video message, slammed this individual as he accused her of lying about what he says was, uh, you know, consensual hookup. Uh, well, it looks pretty obvious, but wow, yikes. She looks like she's overcooked. Left her in the air fryer a little bit too long. Trevor, come on, dog. Anyway, she now faces 16 years if convicted of both charges. Fraudulent schemes and artifices is described as obtaining a benefit under false pretenses, 
multiple outlets, including Fox News, reported um, that Esmino is the same woman who tried to sue Bauer in Arizona in 2023, accusing of him of doing something else horrible, which was completely fabricated. The lawsuit also claims that the encounter left her pregnant, which was also not true. She then demanded $3.6 million and claimed that, you know, he forced her to, uh, you know, to, to fresh and fit the baby. He never did. Uh, but here's the thing. She never had that. He said multiple law, uh, law firms dropped her. He also brought up that Hill, the first woman who publicly accused him, um, took legal action against him, also lost. He countersued and later the two settled their lawsuits without either side giving the other money. At this point, I'm not sure what else I can probably, you know, possibly do to prove my innocence in all this. I did not do what I was accused of, and every institution our society has entrusted to rule on issues like these, like courts, judges, law enforcement officers, prosecutors, etc. They all agree with me, Bauer said. Soon after Bauer posted his video, Hill replied on social media and dared Bauer and his agent to attempt to press charges against her. So this idiot is still trying to get clout. By the way, received just a whole 900 replies. Boy, she looks a little rougher, too. We're back with another video update. It really won't take long. I really don't have much to say. Um, but Rachel Luba decided to use my name. And then Bauer decides to go and make another video. He's allowed to do that, by the way. He's allowed to do that. And I guarantee most of the quote tweets are dunking on her. Judge should put a gag order on her, openly mocking the justice system. Just a reminder, folks, she coincidentally dropped her lawsuit the same week Bauer released a video showing evidence she had tried to hide from him, providing she's an effing liar. Literally nobody with a functioning brain believes you. I'd rather lose uh, than sign Bauer. I said it. I wouldn't. I'd sign Bauer. I, I think the Milwaukee Brewers should absolutely sign him. He's, in he's innocent, completely innocent. And now this chick's facing 16 rightful years in prison. Leave a like on the video for sweet, sweet karma. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it, and we'll talk to you again real soon.